Hi there, welcome back to the Ruminate Workshop. My name's Catherine, and today I'm going to teach you how to build a circuit that powers a string of lights. Ready? Let's get started. The circuit that we're going to build today has two parts, a battery pack and a string of lights. Before we begin, make sure that if your battery pack has a switch in it, it's switched from off to on. Great, now to start, let's try connecting the battery directly to the string of lights, red to red and blue to blue. Cool, it lit up! Now, just for fun, let's try connecting the battery to the string of lights, red to blue and blue to red. Wait a minute, why didn't they light up? What impact did reversing our battery have on our circuit? Let's see if we can figure it out. In our last video, we talked about how electricity flows through a closed loop of wires called a circuit. Let's draw a picture of our first circuit, where our battery is connected to the string of lights, red to red and blue to blue. If any of you have ever looked at a battery, you know that it looks like this. The battery has two ends where you can attach a wire. One has a nub on it, and one doesn't. Engineers call the nub side of the battery the positive end, and the non-nub side the negative end. But engineers are also very efficient, and they think this picture of the battery takes too long to draw. So instead, they represent the positive end of the battery as a long line, and the negative end as a short line. In the Ruminate kit, the positive end connects to the red wire, and the negative end connects to the blue wire. One quick thing to mention. In the last video, I told you that electricity flows out the battery through the blue wire, and into the battery through the red wire. While technically this is true, engineers find that it's a lot easier to think about electricity in terms of electric current, which flows from positive to negative, or out the red wire and in through the blue wire. Great, now let's talk about the string of lights. The lights we're using are a very special kind of light called a light emitting diode, or an LED for short. LEDs are represented by an arrow pointing from the red wire to the blue wire, because they only allow electric current to flow through them in that direction. Cool, so this is our circuit. Let's see if we can trace the flow of electric current in green. Electric current comes out the battery, through the red wire, through the LED, through the blue wire, and back to the battery. This closed loop of current causes the lights to light up. Now let's see what happens when we reverse our battery in this circuit. Remember, electric current can only flow out the battery through the red wire. But wait a minute, current can't flow through the LED through the blue wire. That's why when we reverse our battery, the lights don't light up. Cool, right? Let's see how different directions of current flow impact other kinds of circuits. I built two circuits for us today that power motors. One of them is called circuit A, and one of them is called circuit B. In circuit A, the motor is connected directly to the battery pack, red to red and blue to blue, with a switch in it. In circuit B, the battery pack is connected to the motor, red to blue and blue to red, but also with a switch in it. Let's see what happens when we close each circuit by pressing the button. See how circuit A, the propeller spins clockwise, and in circuit B, the propeller spins counterclockwise? That's because the different directions of current flow change the direction that the motors spin. See, isn't engineering cool? Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you learned a lot. Remember to keep building and send any pictures of your design to mydesign at ruminatetoy.com. See you next time.